All right, so your professor, Professor Liu, is going to show you how to do the first uh, console program. Um, Java is unique. Uh, Java has its own JVN. It's like it's its own translator. So it actually can uh, create a DOS program and also Windows program. Different doesn't need to use different platform, unlike C++ or C shell. Okay, so let's start it right now. First, so I'm going to type first file new Java project. All right, I'm just going to type this as first console. All right, and finish. Then right here, the create a module here. Uh, it is for you to create a module and we don't need to. So don't create. Then you look for these, you didn't create module. So you go to here, go to the package explorer and look for the source. Right click it. In this time you need to have a new class. So class. And we are going to call this first console. All right. Uh, typo, huh? Oh, I already have a curve for Let me call first console one. Okay. All right. So then, uh, right here, I'm going to say public static void main. So include that so it will give you uh, the template okay the some existing code you need it so click OK so now you here right now and the first one is type syst syst the system dot out dot print line and so print line is a master will print whatever you put in the parentheses for you uh, as an instructor, I want to show you some shortcut too. If you type S Y S O U T, all right, and you do, let me see, is Control Space Bar, and it type for you. And right here you say, "Hello world, my name is Shin." Okay. So, again, right here, system is a class. All is a class. Print line is the method. This method will print whatever you wrote here. That's called parameter. Whatever you write here will be printed out on a console. On a console. Remember, this is console program. And Java is unique. Can do the console and can do the um can also do the Windows. So you run it. You have to run it first. Run as run as Java application. Okay, first console, hit OK. Now, uh, your console may be bottom, may be top, because I teach, I usually put my console on top. All right, so that's not finished yet, students. I need you to give me jar file, right? So you have to say this, file, okay, export. All right, export it. It start from like this. Now, okay, ob obvious you want Java, and you want run the board jar. It's okay, and next. And the next here very important is you look the pla the correct one, the solution. Look, this guy is called first console, so you need to look for first console. First console. Yeah. All right, then. I usually put in the desktop, that's easy, desktop. And let's write down this, say, first console. First console, okay? So, save. Now, it's okay right now, so you finish. Let me minimize this, go to my desktop. And my first console is here. So I click my first console, nothing will happen. Of course, nothing happened. Because this is a console program, uh, a program need the operate operating system to 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 execute it. Look, I am Windows 10 right now, 
So I need another, uh, I need another application to run, and a very, very, very popular inside your computer, uh, can ask you, uh, console program is command line. So you type cmd. That's all you need to do. Command, command prompt, cmd. Now you got it right now. So now you need to use a Java code. You know Java command, Java. So that's you want to ask you then. And ask you a jar. Put the space bar. Then this one, if you type is c dash blah blah. You have the path. Instead of instead of write a path, drag it. Drag. Make sure you have space bar. Then the path will be right here. You got the path right here. Instead of type path, you press enter. Hello world, my name is Shin. All right. This is your first uh console program, and this is your jar file. Leave your jar. Leave your jar on the desktop. When you finish all assignment, and you drag your jar to the assignment submission button. Submission. All right. I hope you like this video.